You are a teacher, a reading specialist, or an administrator, and you became an educator because you care about kids. You are an important person in children's lives, and you work incredibly hard to make sure that you are maximizing their learning. Here's some information that's going to make your job a little bit easier. It's about reading. Reading is perhaps the most fundamental skill children will develop because it's the critical tool for learning all other content. Every year there are students who will struggle with learning to read and up to 10% of those students will be diagnosed with dyslexia. In the past, educators often felt unprepared to identify and support students who struggled with reading. But in the last 25 years, mountains of evidence from educational research have identified four pre-reading skills that can reliably indicate who is at risk. The first skill is called phonological awareness. It refers to a student's ability to break apart, rearrange, and combine the sounds and words during listening activities. The second skill is called sound symbol correspondence. It refers to students' familiarity with letters and their corresponding sounds. The third skill is called naming speed. It requires children to quickly retrieve the names of objects, colors, or letters. This skill is not as widely known, but it serves as the foundation for their ability to retrieve words during reading. And finally, it is important to assess a child's oral language ability with measures of vocabulary or listening comprehension skills. These early literacy skills lay the groundwork for later literacy skills. For example, children who struggle with phonological processing and sound symbol correspondence are very likely to have trouble with decoding, while naming speed and oral language ability predicts fluency and comprehension. Starting in kindergarten, educators can use standardized measures to determine who is at risk. The earlier we can identify kids, the better their chances at remediation. When six to eight year olds are given 100 hours of intervention, it brings the majority of them into the average range, but the same dosage is not sufficient to help nine to 12 year olds achieve fluency benchmarks. Why aren't interventions as effective with older students? Well, although typical and struggling readers start out at similar levels, the gap grows substantially in a short period of time. This can be explained by a phenomenon called the Matthew Effect. According to the Matthew Effect, children who have fully developed reading skills read more material, and that helps their reading skills develop further. In fact, really good readers read more outside of school in three days than a poor reader will read in an entire year. So now you know, there is no need to wait. You can screen for reading difficulties before children start kindergarten, early intervention is better, and the four predictive measures are phonological processing, sound symbol correspondence, naming speed, and oral language ability.